Hello, you two. Uh, I'm going to read you guys a book today. Um, so enjoy this story. It's called Grandma McGarvey Goes to Sea. And it is written by Jenny Hessel and illustrated by Trevor Pye. Grandma McGarvey Goes to Sea. When, Ma when Grandma McGarvey needed a rest, she had a bad cold and a pain in her chest. She didn't sip lemon or take to her bed or stretch herself out on the couch. Instead, she loaded the car with nautical gear, a piratical parrot, some bottles of beer, a compass, a cutlass, a couple of pails, and a hammock that Grandpa had bought at the sales. The strings, she noticed, were not very tight, so her bottom was sure to poke through the night. Then she gave a sly smile and did a wee jig. This could be the start of something big. She said as she plastered her nose with zinc. And what do you think? It was. When Grandma McGarvey rode out on the tide, she stood at the helm with her dog at her side. And she gazed at the compass and called to the crew, Ahoy there, me hearties. There's work we must do. All hands to the wheel. Let's give this a crack. But the dog looked as if he would rather turn back. As he slung from the deck and hid under the stair, and the parrot turned surly and started to swear. So Grandma McGarvey trimmed all the sails, checked out the rigging, and banged in some nails. Then, high on the mast, she narrowed her eyes as she noticed the waves, the waves were beginning to rise and threatening clouds were starting to form. I hope we're not heading straight into a storm, she said as her heart began to sink. And what do you think? They were. When Grandma McGarvey sailed into the squall, torrents of rain were beginning to fall and the waves reared up and came thundering down while the parrot was shrieking, we're going to drown. And the dog was whimpering under the stair and the sails were straining and threatening to tear. Then the boat started pitching from starboard to port and the parrot, who wasn't the seafaring sort, clung to her shoulder with squawks of alarm, turned terribly green and was sick down her arm. And the dog, whose eyes were bulging with shock, did something disgusting all over her sock. At least, said Grandma, stifling a curse, things couldn't possibly get any worse. And she pinched her nose to block out the stink. But what do you think? They did. When Grandma McGarvey opened her eyes, the waves had returned to a comfortable size. So she tidied the deck and straightened the sails and bailed out the boat with old battered, with battered old pails. And when it was done, she muttered, at last, I think we can say that the danger had passed. Think again, shrieked the parrot and pointed its wing. And Grandma beheld the most terrible thing. Her knees began knocking, her eyes opened wide. A man-eating shark had a loomed alongside. Its skin was all slimy, its eyes were blood red, and razor-sharp teeth flashed white in its head. As it opened its mouth with a gluttonous grin, swooped on the deck and sunk its jaws in. Scary looking shark. Then Grandma shouted, we're not finished yet. I'll teach you a lesson you'll never forget. She grabbed for the rail, reared up on her toes and whacked the pail down hard on its nose. Before the shark could get itself free, Grandma McGarvey went down on one knee and wound the hammock around it tight and its bottom stuck through her. She thought that it might. Then Grandma McGarvey said with a smile, Now that should keep you locked up for a while. As she fastened the lock with a flourishing clink, and what do you think?
It did. When Grandma McGarvey headed for home, she saw it on the waves and she flashed through the foam. And when she came within sight of the land, she could see on the jetty a gathering band. They were clapping and shouting and raising a cheer. The townsfolk, the councillors, even the mayor. So Grandma McGarvey blew them a kiss. They'll probably give me a medal for this, she said as she waved and slipped them a wink. And what do you think? They did. Enjoy your day of online learning today.